Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore Glasses. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to learn the meaning of LCM, its full form and its meaning in depth with proper concept clarification. So this video is going to be very helpful for all the students. Let us focus on, first of all, word by word, we are going to learn its meaning. LCM means least common multiple. So one must be clear with the first of all, what is the meaning of multiple? If I tell you to write multiples of two, see writing multiples of two means all those numbers which are divisible by two or we can say in easy words which comes in the table of two. For example, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, etc. These all numbers which I am writing, they are the multiples of 2. At the same time, if I tell you to write the multiples of 4, it will be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, like that. Right? So, meaning of multiple is clear. Now, second word, it is common. That means all those multiples which are common in these two which are common in these two. So what I am going to do, I am going to encircle them like 4 is common. Common means which is coming in both. Then I can find 8 is also common. Then 12 is also common. Same way going on, you will find some another values also. Right? Meaning of common is clear, which is coming in both. Then least. You can say least, lowest. That means smaller among smallest among all of the common ones. Like 4, 8 and 12 I can find. I found the common values. Lowest among them is number 4. So what I can say, I can say that LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. Least common multiple of 2 and 4 is 4. Or in other words, we can say 4 is a number which comes in the table of both 2 and 4. And this is the smaller number which comes in their table. This is the practical meaning of LCM. That means you just need to write the multiples, take the common one and then the lowest one. But it's not always that you need to write the tables because for the smaller values like finding LCM of 2 and 3, you can write their table, you will get 6 as the common number, 4 and 8, that is an easy one. But the point is when difficult number comes, difficult number I mean to say the bigger numbers. For example, find the LCM of 16 and 18. Now writing the tables of 16 and 18 becomes difficult for the students. That means there must be some way of doing it, of finding the LCM other than writing the tables. So writing tables was for the concept clarification. But we are going to cover one method of finding the LCM now. That method is division method. I am writing the name here. I am going to cover division method to find the LCM. Now, what is division method? Obviously, some division will be involved. For example, let us suppose you want to find LCM of 4 and 6. Check very carefully. Even division method is also applied with multiple ways. Multiple ways means I will apply both of them. First rule is which is very easy for students. We tell students to divide only by primes. I am repeating. We tell students to divide only by primes. For example, you are to find LCM of 4 and 6. Then write like this. 4 and 6. Now, as I told you to do with only primes, what is the first prime number? First prime number is 2. Okay, write 2 here. Divide 4 and 6 both by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Keep on dividing by the primes. By that time, you get 1 here. I am going to show you. 
again at least one number is there which is divisible by 2. So I am still continuing this question by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Now 3 is not divisible. Don't do anything. Keep 3 as it is. Now no need to divide by 2 because it is done. Next prime is 3. Yes, 3 is there. Divide by 3. So now both values are 1. Stop here. Your LCM is going to be multiplication of all these 3 numbers. 2 multiply 2 multiply 3. Which is going to be 12. That means LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. This is the best method to do it. That is why we tell students to divide by primes. Because no confusion is there. I am going to cover one more question. It is not only for single value. You can find the LCM of multiple numbers as well. Let us suppose you want to find LCM of 12, 16 and 18. Let us suppose these three numbers are there for which I want to find LCM. And I want to use division method by dividing with primes. See, it becomes very easy. You need not to write tables. That is the first point which is helpful. All numbers are divisible by 2 and my first prime is 2. Obviously, I will take prime 2 by the time even a single number is divisible by 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 9 is 18. Fine. Still, I can divide by 2. So, keep on doing. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. Then 9. Because 9... See, whichever number is not divisible, write that as it is. Again, divide by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Again, 9. Again, I will use 2. By the time, it becomes 1. See, 2 ones are 2. Now, stop. Now, there is no number which can be divided by 2. Next prime is 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. And do the last step again by 3. Because we will be getting all 1s. Now what will be the LCM? Multiplication of all of them. Let me write here. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then 3 times 3. 2 2s two are 4. 4 2s are 8. 8 2s are 16. 3 multiply 3 is 9. Now... You can directly multiply 16 with 9 as well. But there is one more way. I just wanted to tell you. 16 multiply 10. I know that this is 160. You can subtract 16 from 160 also. Both will give you the same answer. It is 144. So 144 is the LCM of 16 and 18. Now you can imagine writing tables was very difficult. Right? So this is the best way which we consider. Where you divide by primes. But sometimes, which I told you, another method is also there. For example, you want to find LCM of 4 and 6. You write just 4 and 6. Second way is you just take the common number which divide 4 and 6 both. Forget about primes. 4 and 6 both are no doubt divisible by 2. So 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. Now 2 and 3 both are not divisible by any common number other than 1. 1 is not required to do anything. So stop here. It is a shortcut way you can directly write LCM. Multiply this 2 and last 2 values. Still you will get 12. This is another way of doing it. But sometimes students face problem here. Because uh, you know when this topic comes it is class 4 or 5 right. At that time, all students doesn't have that much intellectual level that they start finding that which number is divisible by which number. That is why we tell to start with the prime so that they just keep on doing it. Otherwise, this becomes a shortcut method. We will cover this method sometimes in detail. But I hope because the main aim for this video was to explain the first method which was by the primes. I hope that is clear to you all. Thank you so much for watching the video.